Hey everyone, this is Mickey DeVries, the instructor of Unlocking the Magic of Photoshop over at Click and Moms. And I wanted to do this really quick tutorial to show you how I increase fall color in my images. This works well um, if you have images where it is fall, like in this image. Um, but a lot of the leaves have dropped or they didn't really turn a really vibrant color. Sometimes these kind of turn um, a yellowish green and then brown and drop off and it's not exactly what I'm going for in my images. Or you may live in um, a region where you don't see a ton of fall color. So this is just a really simple way to kind of change up the color in your image to make it more fall-like. All I'm going to do is go ahead and add the Selective Color Adjustment layer. If you do not have this adjustment panel open, go ahead and go up to Window and just check Adjustments and you should see the same panel that I have. It may be located in a different portion of your screen, but it should now show up. Go ahead and click this um, little box here and it will say Selective Color when I hover over it. And we're going to modify the yellows and reds of this image. And I'm not going to worry too much what happens to them off the bat because I can mask them off. What I'm really concentrating when I'm moving these sliders around is to what the um, fall leaves look like. So under the yellows, that's usually where I start, I am going to decrease the cyan because the opposite of cyan is red. So I am going to bring that way down. You can already see the changes happening. Um, to about negative um, 72. I just kind of play around till it looks good. You could go further or less, whatever is your preference. I'm going to leave the magenta alone, though you could increase it here if you wanted to add a little bit more magenta to it, but I'm going to leave it at zero. Now I want to bump up the yellows, um, and so I'm going to increase this quite a bit, and then it gives me that really nice orange color. I'm at almost 90, 89, but again, that's personal preference how far you want to push that. And then usually I push the blacks a little bit to kind of deepen the color. Um, I'm not going to do it too much, maybe just five. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the reds channel and I am going to decrease the cyan to just increase that red a little bit more I'm around negative 31. And then I'm going to boost up the yellow and the reds too. And this is just going to help us with a more orange color. Now you can see it affected quite a bit in my image. It affected parts I don't want to. And my people, um, my son and my daughter, now look a little bit crazy. And I don't really like what it did to the green um, pine trees over here. But that's fine. We can use masking. And what I tend to do is to completely invert this layer. So I'm going to do Command or Control I to invert. And then on the layer mask, I'm going to switch over here to my brush. Make sure I have a white brush so I'm going to reveal the effect. And I'm going to take down the opacity of my brush up here to maybe around 30%. Now I'm just going to simply take this brush and I'm going to have to increase the brush size quite a bit. You can use your bracket keys too. Oops. I have to be out of this menu to use my bracket keys. Now I can use, there we go, finally. Um, I'm going to use a pretty big brush, but I am just going to paint this in. And my brush is completely soft. Their hardness is pulled all the way down there. And you can go over it multiple times to kind of build up the effect. I, that's why I like to use the lower opacity brush, um, because I can kind of control how much I'm adding. And then what I'm going to do is kind of click in those trees. I don't tend to paint over the whole thing. The trunks of the trees tend to get really red, and I don't always like that. So I kind of just click around a little bit, um, trying to keep it off. The, I got some on the tree trunk, and I'm not super careful about it. I can switch to a black brush and take it back off if it's looking too red to me. Now I'm going to switch back to the white. And I am just going to come in here and play up that color that's already there. That's just going to take me a minute. I'm also going to play up these leaves that have already dropped in the side of the road. I'm just going to be careful not to get it on my son or daughter there. And I might have to zoom in. I'm using the Navigator to zoom in. Again, if you don't see this panel, go to Window and then just make sure you check Navigator. 
and I can kind of get between them. So let's zoom back out so I can use Controller Command Zero, and I can see how we're coming. I can turn on and off. You can see I've already punched it up quite a bit, but then I can decide whether I want to punch it up a little bit more. I might, especially up in this corner, punch it up a little bit more. I feel like how it frames out the corner with that nice color. I might even come in here and do a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. If I'm turning it off and on, I really think that that's increased the fall color and I just like the overall look to my image. So then I could go ahead and save it. The one other thing I want to show you, um, rather than have to adjust those sliders every time, you can save um, this as a preset. So all you have to do is, in um, if you're clicked on the selective color, here and you have this open in your properties, go ahead and hit this little, I can't, my eyes aren't good enough to see if that's three lines or four lines, I think it's four lines, go ahead and hit that up in the corner and hit save selective color preset. You can go ahead and name it whatever you want. I already have one named fall so I'm not going to rename this one because it'll just overwrite that and it's the same thing. But you just go ahead and type whatever you want and hit save. And then next time you come into an image, if you go into this preset drop down, you will see it listed. And let me just show you how that works. I have another image pulled up. It's not a super fantastic image. My son on our zip line. And this has some fall color you can see, but it has a whole lot of green. And that green is predominantly made up of the color yellow. So with us adjusting the yellow in that selective color, it's really going to change that green to a more fall color. So all I would do is go ahead and add that selective color adjustment layer, go to the preset dropdown, and hit fall. And you can see what a huge difference that made. Now you may have to go in and um, tweak that red um, color channel or the yellow if you want to change it up a little bit. Um, but it gives you a nice space. And of course we would have to go in and either mask off. I could switch to a black brush. I'd probably use a higher opacity brush. And I can come in and take it off of him. I'm not doing that. I'm doing a really sloppy masking job right now. But I could come in and take it off where I don't want it. Um, on this one, it might be easier taking off where I don't want it than to add it where I do want it. But you can see what a dramatic difference that made. And that's just super quick being able to save that preset. So I hope this was helpful for you in learning how to kind of punch up that fall color and kind of change the color of some of your leaves to more fall-like.